really had to restock at guard. Losing Jalen Pickett to the Denver Nuggets and sent Lundy to Atlanta and Andrew Funk, who was a big tournament star. It's going to rattle in. Nice touch by Thomas. Thomas is actually the only remaining player from Penn State from two seasons ago before they made that run. So when you think of, forgive me, for Butler for two seasons ago before Fab Mata took over. And both these guys are adept at taking the basketball away. Steals leaders in their respective conferences for much of their career. Telford throws it away. Picked up by Kern ahead of the field. He'll slam it. I mean, everybody ought to hire you to be their promotional advisor because <laughs> nobody's in your class with that. I will take I will take those fees. Thomas is on the baseline. <laughs> will hook it in as well. You should <laughs> just come on back. 17 minutes to go in the first half. Alexander with it on the dribble. Posh Alexander, the senior, knocked down. Clary, way downtown, if you wanted to try it. He's going to go to the paint instead and knock down two. And I'm sure the Butler family is happy to have him back on the sideline. Led Ohio State to a couple of Final Fours and a national championship game appearance. Flipped up and in by D.J. Davis for two. Nice look from Telford, though, recognizing he had the shooter in the corner. Clary right past everybody with the left hand for two. Are coming in. Are you looking to just win one game? Is that enough for you? Or are you one of the schools looking to win the whole thing? You know you have that ability. None of these coaches come in thinking one game. No, they know that. I mean, the likelihood of winning all three is very slim. It only happens for one team here. But you want to be able to walk away with two wins. Oh, tough minute. reverse by Baldwin. Quickly down the other end of the floor, but that won't fall for Johnson. Missed a couple of shots since he came on. Brooks takes the bump and it'll rattle in. He'll go to the line. Alexander got the dribble back, got it free inside to the big Andre screen to knock it down. Tied at 14. Into the corner, and that'll be switched in by Connor Turnbull. Turnbull didn't have much of an impact in yesterday's game. However, got to a very good start for him in this one. A young man who could definitely knock down the three ball. Is that ever nifty by Nick Kern? Butler actually made back-to-back -back Final Four runs. 2010 and 2011 lost to Duke in the National Championship game in 2010. Going to roll in here for Kern. Baseline reverse and a sweet shot again by Nick Kern. Nick Kern has been great attacking the basket when you're 50 years old and you look back and you say, <laughs> man, I could have done this. I could have done that differently. Brooks <laughs> knocks it down. Penn State by one and the ball. Larry coming off 19 points yesterday rattles in and Andre screen is taken out Kern getting worked on as he limped off a moment ago that's a tough shot by Telford Telford has shown us that he can score in a number of different ways I believe he's going to be big for Butler in the Big East this season physically capable of taking the beating going to the rim and still with enough skill to be able to finish Dunn ripped away his own miss here's Hicks he bags that one they actually put Hicks at the five spot on the defensive end, but of course we know he can shoot it from beyond the arc. Teleport's open, wide open, but no. So in transition, here's Clary. This guy can take over a game. He had 22 and 20 his first two games of the season to get him free. But he got his rhythm going inside the three-point line. Big favorites. Heck, you've got the reigning national champs. Yeah. Creighton took a tough loss yesterday Hicks Hicks. switches it in close to the rim great job defensively by a boy rare miss by the big fella that close and a blow by up and in by Clary what a quick step how about yourself are you a Mr. Basketball I was a Mr. Basketball and I don't think many people know that because it's not that big of a deal in the state of Virginia <laughs> should have been <laughs> it was to me Brooks going in strong and undaunted and draws the whistle too at the 11.06 mark. 
Larry trying to split the defenders. Got it. Larry got a bucket, but Mike Rose was not happy about the execution of his team on that possession. I actually turned his back because they didn't get what they wanted. So that's when you always tell your players, no, no, no. Oh, great oh, shot. Yeah, great <laughs> shot. Yeah, I loved it. Here's Brooks. Yeah. Sweet touch by Pierre Brooks the second. Much to the light of this strong Butler contingent. They do travel well. Now both sides heating up. Hicks has a quick answer. 29% for three coming here. He's found his touch, it looks like. More to penetrate. They let him go, and he lays it in. Telford went out of bounds. Davis has it off the fake. Downstairs for the big and the slam guy, uh, Kapke. Both Kapke will. Their fans would much rather be playing for a championship on Sunday afternoon. That's when the title game will take place at 1 o'clock. FAU is already into that. They've got a lot of fans here. Very boisterous fans. They're really looking forward to that title game after their incredible Final Four run. You're going to count that basket. More to penetrate. Nearly gave it away. Long one coming. Swished in by Brooks. Brooks open again. Oh, he's not missing. And he knocks down on the triple. That's the problem when you do pressure. You've got to make sure guys are spreading back defensively and communicating to find who they're guarding. But one guy that should not be left open is Pierre Brooks, the second. Johnson with an answer. Now, Penn State starting to get a, a little more of that bench production with Dunn coming in as well as Puff coming off the bench and making plays. Here's Davis. So who's up next? <laughs> Kanye. Rebound tipped. And a second effort. We'll have getting all over that one. Way downtown and switched in by Ace Baldwin. 12-point deficit they're in. He throws it away. They lock him up defensively. Telford will take it. Lay it in. One of them was with us there. He was the host by the name of Bob Sir. I'm sure you remember very well. Oh, yeah. Florida State. Yep. And Jerry McNamara. Jerry Mack. Syracuse. Fame. Absolutely. Bank shot. Up and in by Moore. And Butler. Hitting the shots when they have had to here down the stretch. Yeah, give Moore a lot of credit for the way he stepped in with Posh Alexander on the bench. Larry with a three. Uh, run the show for the Butler Bulldogs. And we are getting set for the second semifinal. Virginia Tech and Iowa State at 530. Looking forward to that matchup. Mike Young's team firing on all cylinders offensively coming into Orlando.